from cleansing to exfoliating and even moisturizing, the simple yet amazing effects that toner pads have. Toner pads, how do I use them to the best of their ability? Welcome back to Trend TV. It's your sister Eunice here. And Iris, hello. Hi, How are you? Everyone? On today's do and downs, we're going to be talking about toner pads. So you guys know the method of skincare where we use cotton pads and soak it in with our toner. Recently, to make things more simple and effective, a lot of people have been using toner pads. That's right. Today, we're going to talk about toner pads that have special effects and the best ways to use toner pads. Yes, you guys. So don't go anywhere and stay tuned with us until the very end. Hang out with me and Iris. And don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on our Instagram as well. What are we waiting for? Let's get started. Let's go! First, we should learn about what exactly toner pads are. Now, think of toner pads as the last step of your cleansing step and the first step of your skincare routine. As I mentioned in the beginning, it's an upgraded version of you using a cotton pad and soaking it with your toner. And it's really easy to use because these are basically just pads that are already soaked in the liquid products. Oh, there you go. Thank you. With just one pad, you can even out your skin's texture by removing that skin cells, sebum, and leftover gunk and makeup off of your skin. And also, toner pads are a big, big, huge part in skip care. Yes, skip care. I know that a lot of people have been loving skip care these days, and especially because our skin is getting a little bit more irritated because we do have situations where we are wearing the masks pretty often. So yes. It's pretty self-explanatory. All you have to do is skip a few products. You skip the skincare steps that are unnecessary and only apply the skincare products you really need. When our skin is exposed to irritation, using too many skincare ingredients can actually make your condition even worse. Your skin will not be able to absorb all the products in as well. So what's very important is that you choose the right products that will suit your skin condition at the moment. And the products that can definitely help in these type of situations are toner pads. And also, with just one toner pad, you can take care of exfoliation, sebum care, and moisturization. While removing the makeup residue, you can remove your dead skin cells while also providing moisture to your skin. That's right, think of it as you're making a pathway for your skin when you're using a toner pad. Once you wipe away the dead skin cells and sebum, your skin will become ready to absorb the following products you're going to apply afterwards. That's why many makeup artists and YouTubers use toner pads. Since I'm guessing wish trenders have already heard about toner pads here and there, I'm assuming you guys are all interested in toner pads. So today on Do and Dance, we're going to be talking about toner pads, choosing the best toner pad according to skin type, and the best ways to use toner pads, and precautions while using toner pads. Do the effects of toner pads. Toner pads have a lot of different effects. While smoothing out your skin, it can help to moisturize, it can care for your acne, and it can also exfoliate your skin all at the same time. So if you're using a toner pad and you want to look for a toner pad that fits your skincare needs currently, you kind of have to be aware of what the effects are in that certain toner pad. There are a lot of people that are very careful when it comes down to exfoliation. I think especially if you do have sensitive skin or reactive skin like myself, you know, we do tend to be kind of scared. Yeah. <laughs> and one good thing is that you can gently exfoliate your skin by using a toner pad. And it's just not on the face. You can use it for your body as well, like maybe your chest area or your back area or anywhere on the body that you have concerns of uh, body acne, especially if it's caused by buildup of that skin cells and it can control your dead skin cells because of the peeling ingredients found in exfoliating toner pad products. AHA and BHA are the most well-known peeling ingredients, so if the product has these ingredients in it, it is a product that has an exfoliating effect. So AHA is a water-soluble ingredient that's extracted from fruits, and it does remove the dead skin cells on the surface layer of your skin. And then you have BHA, which is also known as salicylic acid, and it helps to remove the dead skin cells on the surface layer of your skin. Also, it does remove the dead skin cells and also all the gunk and sebum that's stuck in the pores as well. That's why a lot of people love it to take care of your sebum and blackheads as well. 
One thing that we can't miss out on exfoliating is acne care. There are toner pads that care for acne as well. Although we can care for acne care just by exfoliating and moisturizing, we still kind of face problems with acne because of the fine dust, the yellow dust, and from wearing our mask. So in these situations, Sika and also tea tree can definitely be helpful for you. Now, a lot of times you can find peeling ingredients with these ingredients such as AHA, BHA, LHA, and PHA. Ingredients that are effective for calming the skin are Penthanol, Allantoin, Betaine, and Guayazulin. If you need a calming effect, look for these ingredients in your skincare products. Usually, you can find many products that have both a calming and moisturizing effect. Moisture care is the most basic step of skincare. If you use a moisturizing toner pad, you can even out your skin while also providing moisture to your skin. Ingredients that have a moisturizing effect are glycerine, glycerol glucoside, dipropylene glycol, ceramide NP, hyaluronic acid, and butylene glycol. If your skin needs more moisture, these are the ingredients to look for. 2. How to use toner pads Alright, now if you have chosen the right toner pads for your skin, now we have to use them to the best of their ability. But, we know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, well, toner pads, you just take one out and wipe, wipe away. But with just a little bit more care, your skin will shine even brighter. First, when you're using toner pads, it's good to keep them away from contact with air. Since the opening of the container is fairly large and you have to open and close the product, you have to be more careful compared to other products. Don't leave it open when you're using it and always close it tightly when you're done. Also, when using toner pads, try to use tweezers to take them out of the container rather than using your hands. Because like we mentioned, these toner pads are already soaked with so much liquid, so for better hygiene, it's much better to use tweezers to take them out. And did you know that you can use your toner pads as a mask? A lot of makeup artists actually love this tip. They put it on the cheeks and the forehead and the chin area as the last step of your skincare routine. When your skin is in a bad condition or when you have to apply makeup but you can see visible dead skin cells, actually this tip of using your toner pads as your mask is a great tip for you to keep in mind. Don't use toner pads on sensitive skin. If you have sensitive skin, you might feel like you should be like staying away from toner pads because they're actually physically going in contact with your skin. That's why if you are someone with sensitivity on your skin, like myself, then it's really important for you to check the material of the toner pads. Make sure that you use natural cotton compared to maybe synthetic cotton. It will feel much more softer and more comfortable on your skin. It is especially important to choose a toner pad that is made without bleach or fluorescent material. You also have to check if it's a product that is soaked with enough toner or essence. That's right, if you use a dry toner pad that doesn't have enough product on it, it can irritate your skin. The same goes for when you're using a cotton pad soaked in with a toner. Don't. Sensitive skin should watch out for salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is effective for exfoliation and removing impurities from the pores. However, if you have sensitive skin, you might want to be cautious when using this ingredient. That's right, so if you do use BHA, also known as salicylic acid, for your skin, actually it can be very helpful. Don't get us wrong, it can be mm -hmm. very helpful for your skin if you use it right. However, if you have extremely sensitive skin or you have reactive skin and you use maybe large amounts of you know, salicylic acid every single day and you use it very harshly on your skin, then it can create a problem for your skin. It can even lead to concerns like contact dermatitis. Oh, so you may experience skin dryness, erythema, skin tingling, or itching, so you have to be very careful. So if you have sensitive skin or your skin just feels a little bit more sensitive than usual, then try to stay away from toner pads that have salicylic acid or just use them once a week. And make sure you don't wipe too harshly on your skin because it's going to be really irritating for your skin. Alright guys, so today we talked about everything you need to know about toner pads. Was it helpful? <laughs> Try using toner pads in the ways we explained to you today and let us know how you thought about it. Yes. And also, if you have some toner pad products that you really like, let us know as well. 
definitely. So all the toner pads that we talked about today, the links will be in the description below. So please do check it out if you guys are interested. And please do keep in mind that it's very important to find the right toner pads, right? With the right ingredients for your skin. I hope that one of the toner pads we talked about today will be the best fit for you. Subscribe to watch our latest videos. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye Wish Trenders. Ha <laughs> ha